Good morning to you all. I've got another old phone. And you can see dated 1957. Remember that year very well. That is the base of the phone. We'll turn him over. I'll try and make sure I make it clear. Now, this phone is actually Russian. It's manufactured by State Electrotechnical of Riga, Latvia. And as we see, it was in nine, uh, this particular model was made in 1957. No doubt about that. Let me, as I've got the case open, there's a diagram in there. Let's take a little picture of the diagram. Diagrams, as I say, are very important things to have. It's nice to have the one. I left it on there so you can see. The trademark is that little shape up there, which also appears on the Bakelite case of the phone. That's the diagram. Now also while we've got the having a look in there, have a look at the dial. This is a rather an unusual type of dial. It's not what you would well, as I say, <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find on uh, some of these phones. But this is the dial what's in used on this one. It obviously works. It does the job, so it must be okay. Anyhow, let's have a look at the. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's like a trademark up up there as well. I don't know if it's one of the same of the. Get a bit closer. Let's try and make that out. There's the trademark on that dial. I think that's actually another company. I'm not too sure. So I want to clear of the uh, uh, the different manufacturers. Right, we'll have a look at the telephone itself, the chassis, you've got your bell. It's rather crude actually. This is the, uh, the cradle switch. Well, that's activated by that metal bit in the in the case. It obviously does the job, so you know, no problem. There's your bell, normal type of bell. Large capacitor. Or probably should say a condenser which they were called in the year 57 nothing on it your induction coil there in the other uh, russian script wiring is not particularly tidy it's laced in places lace into the bell not particularly neat anything but but as I say it obviously does the job there the uh, 
connections to the dial. This dial's got so many wires going into it, which is unusual. There's five wires going into the dial. The other side of the dial. This dial actually is a, li a little bit... Uh, I've given it a bit of an oil. It's um, not 100% working, but anyhow, for the collection purposes, we're okay. That more or less is it. Uh, the terminations there are for the line cord, and you can see the wires that are used. It actually red, yeah, red, green, and white. Red and green and white. Yep, that's it. Yeah, that's what is on the actual phone itself. Now, have a look at the handset. The exact correct handset for this phone. Once again, you've got that same trademark. which is shown, I will show it on the back of the main main body. Here we have the, yep, same trademark again, 1957, so this is obviously the transmitter that came with the phone. It looks quite a well made job. The transmitter. More cyrillic writing. That looks like possibly 68. So that may have been changed well. It is 68 it has been changed. No name on this one. And that's the, the mouthpiece and the ear piece there, which is exactly correct the cord is a straight cord it's not a twisty cord i would say it's possibly the original cord no doubt of that the line cord as i say is um is plastic covered so it's that could have been changed, but I don't think so. And ended in little flat spade type terminals. Now let's just have a look at the case. It's got, a, it's got good screws are held in with like brass inserts, so which is good. I think one way the that's obviously to keep the the dial wires clipped down, but I haven't used that. Just left it as it is, as long as, long as it, the wires don't get in the way of anything. There's the rear of the phone with the same trademark. Turn him round to the... I would think this dial has been changed. All the other pictures of this particular model 
shows the dial with the uh, Cyrillic writing in the middle as well. But not on this one. So I'd say this has possibly been changed. And it is a bit notchy. So yeah, I, I think that has been changed. But anyhow, that's the phone. A nice Baker-like case. One which I've had quite a while. <laughs> I don't know where I got it from. But I've had it a while. And that is more or less all I can say about it. Just recapping, manufactured in Riga, Latvia by State Electrotechnical in 1957. Now I remember what I was doing in 1957. I was still at school. So yeah, it's got memories. Once again, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll put this one up. Thanks again. Thank you.